What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And guys, for today's video I have a really amazing news. First of all, I will remind you about the call to action that uh, we all have to do in order to push our case forward uh, through Congress uh, members. Then I will continue with the real bombshell, in my opinion, and I will explain you why I think so. The short squeeze of MMTLP shares happened at the very end of 2022. And I will explain you my thoughts and I will explain you why I think so. And uh, definitely it is a huge, huge news for us, uh, for the community in general. And at the end of this video I will share my personal story. And guys, please watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. And before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and hit the like button for me, because uh, I spent more than 4 hours of my time on a daily basis in order to uh, make uh, these uh, videos for MTLP community. And that is why I want to exchange more than 4 hours of my time for a split of a second of your time, and that is why just hit the like button. So, let's start uh, with the news itself. First of all, I want to remind you that we all have to help Don Fis to push our case forward through Congress. And to do so, uh, let me quote you this tweet that uh, was written by Crucial Mix just several days ago. He said, he basically wrote, Call your congressman's office, uh, yours, not others, and ask uh, your representative to contact uh, James Commerce office to express support for MMTLP congressional hearing. And this is the main uh, part uh, what we should do in order to push it forward. And if you don't know how to write this letter, you can use, uh, let me show you uh, this uh, article that was published on uh, April the 8th uh, on MMTLP resources. And it's titled, Submit this uh, form to reach Congress. And here you can find uh, the form uh, that uh, was uh, disclosed uh, by Rob USA. And here you can find the blueprint uh, at the very bottom right here. The blueprint of uh, the letter that uh, you can just copy and paste uh, to this uh, uh, form. And uh, that's it. It is just a very simple and generic move. But uh, it will definitely help us to push our case forward through Congress. So guys, let me show you the next news. Uh, yesterday I showed you that Daniel Spears announced uh, her uh, space call in regards to MTLP story. And it will take place uh, within the next several hours. By the time this video will be published, uh, it will remain, uh, I think, uh, just several hours. But uh, this uh, space call might be very important because uh, let me show you this. Daniel Spears wrote this tweet five hours ago and she said, this call is an open discussion on other strategies we might employ while also working with Congress. There is not necessarily any new news, but uh, there is a lot of information to be discussed. That shared information sometimes leads to new things that takes us to new places. And yes, if you want to uh, participate, if you want to hear this uh, space call, feel free to set a reminder and do it. And I think uh, everyone might uh, find out something new in regards to our case and might bring uh, new thoughts uh, how we can solve this problem. So, and for now, let me show you the most important part of this video. Let me show you the most important news in regards to the potential short squeeze. So, first of all, I want to remind you that just yesterday I showed you this information that was published by Rare DD, and I covered it multiple times. Uh, here is uh, the screenshot uh, of uh, the E-Trade uh, uh, orders that uh, were uh, too late to cancel, and the prices of this order, uh, as you can see, the prices uh, were at, at as high as $5,000. And let me show you that all of these uh, orders, uh, limit orders, was uh, made, as you can see, on December the 12th, 2022. So, it was uh, right after the implementation of U3 Halt. And guys, uh, these uh, quite high uh, levels, quite high prices, got me thinking why it was even possible to see these quite high levels. On top of that, uh, let me show you that... Uh, we have even more evidence of uh, extremely high prices. Right here, you can see that RareDD again reposted uh, the tweet that was uh, published by 
Hugana, Georgia on April uh, uh, the 9th. And right here you can see that 5 shares, 5 MMTLP shares uh, were sold, uh, allegedly were sold uh, for the price of uh, just under $25,000. And as you can see, the uh, status of uh, this uh, limit order is also too late to cancel. And guys, uh, let me show you that too late to cancel uh, by the definition of uh, the it rate itself uh, is nothing else but this. The order has already been executed or is in the process of executing. And let me show you what Rare DD wrote in regards to this information. These shares of MMGLP sold for nearly $25,000 per share after December the 8th of 2022, but FINRA didn't allow the transactions to clear. FINRA claimed they used rehalted MMGLP to protect investors that might have bought MMGLP after December the 8th unaware that they wouldn't uh, be entitled to next bridge. Seems to me that, F that FINRA just wanted to protect short position uh, holders from being forced liquidated and forced to buy in. Clicking the post and viewing the other posts will provide context and another screen from eTrade showing that these too late to cancel trades took place after December the 8th. And let me show you another tweet that was uh, made again by RareGD in response to the tweet that was written just four hours ago by Crucial Mix. And Crucial Mix wrote this. Looked uh, at uh, an archive of some of my E-Trade orders for MMTLP and I too was a victim of too late to cancel, which according to them means the order was already executed. Where's my money? And let me show you this uh, information in details. Here you can see the price of up to uh, $2,150 per share, and it is quite huge, huge numbers. And let me quote you what did again RareDD write. Uh, he said, yet another example, did FINRA really think uninformed investors were gonna spend thousands uh, on NOTC security without being aware of the situation, even if they wanted to? For some reason, most brokerages understood not to allow new buys in LMTLP after December the 8th. How much more obvious uh, can it be that FINRA was protecting short position holders from forced liquidations and buys-ins? Uh, this is why we are currently experiencing a 16 plus month issue related to settlement and clearance. How badly does it say that uh, you've failed to effectively regulate then by creating settlement issue while allegedly trying to prevent one. And guys, my thoughts about uh, all these uh, prices are following. You know that I have a quite strong trading background. Uh, I trade for more than uh, 12 years for now. And uh, guys, I have to say that these quite high uh, levels, uh, quite high prices might happen only during the short squeeze. And you might wonder, how it is even possible that the short squeeze happened, uh, uh, let me show you, uh, happened uh, after the implementation of U3 halt. And the only answer is following. Guys, let me show you this. First of all, December the 8th was Thursday. And then we had a Friday and two day offs, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Then Monday was December the 12th. And let me show you that uh, we have uh, this type of rule. It is T plus 2 settlement. And uh, let me quote it for you. What does it mean? When a stock trade is completed in a cash account, the funds will not settle for two full trading days. This means two full trading days uh, were at the very end of December, were December the 9th and December the 12th. This means December the 12th was the, was the settlement date for these orders. And this is the crucial part. Guys, how did uh, FINRA know about uh, the implementation of U3 HALT, uh, that they have to implement this U3 HALT before these orders were executed? And guys, let me show you this. You know what does the PFOF mean? P payment for order flow is essentially a rebate from market makers to brokerage firms for routing retail buy or sell orders to them. So guys, this means we have uh, the majority of uh, broker dealers have uh, some kind of middleman in between the clearing company and them. 
And uh, this uh, middleman knows everything about all the payments, all the uh, orders, all the prices, etc., etc. And guys, according to FOIA letters, we know that uh, SEC and FINRA started to uh, blue sheet all the data in real time back uh, in November of 2022. This means they knew exactly that the prices of uh, the uh, MMTLP shares skyrocketed because of short squeeze. Some of uh, broker dealers uh, potentially started to buy back uh, their buy back uh, uh, the MMTLP shares in order to close their short positions. But uh, it was a lack of shares, and we all knew that uh, uh, we saw 505 uh, number of shares. Uh, it was an orders, and it was a secret, so-called secret code, uh, uh, which means that they need more shares to cover their position. And all this information, in my opinion, leads to the following conclusion. On December the 8th of 2022, we had this uh, uh, short squeeze and that is why we had uh, this uh, incredible, incredible prices of uh, uh, next bridge hydrocarbon shares, not next bridge, but MMTLP shares for m up to $25,000 per share. And definitely uh, FINRA was watching on this activity and that is why they implemented this U3 halt. And that is why we are here. They don't want to disclose any more information because uh, if some information is disclosed, definitely it will open a Pandora box for FINRA and SEC. And that is why we have these huge uh, stonewalling efforts from other side that is uh, trying to push our case down. And that is why, guys, none of broker dealers uh, disclose uh, their information in regards to short positions. And you might wonder, how it is even possible. And let me show you this. Again, Rare DD uh, wrote this tweet just several hours ago. And uh, he, first of all, uh, uh, added this screenshot. Let me quote you, first of all, this one. The Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, DTCC, is owned by its principal users, which are securities industry participants. These include banks, broker dealers, mutual funds, and other financial institutions. Some of the user owners of the DTCC include Citigroup, BNP Paribas, JP Morgan, State Street, UBS, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Vuto, Barclays, BNY Mellon, and uh, Bank of America. And guys, you know, a lot of these banks were fined uh, because of uh, their illegal activity, because of uh, their misrepresentation of uh, uh, short uh, orders uh, instead of long orders and vice versa. They were fine because of their short position and uh, they uh, were fine because of uh, their sold and not yet purchased shares. And guys, let me quote you further. If the DTCC is owned by the securities industry participants that commit multiple and repeated financial crimes, and if breaking the rules regarding settlement protects these participants and owners of the DTCC, why should we believe that uh, the DTCC operates honestly? Surely. There must be some honest people working in DTCC that are trying to see how the investing public is treated. And yes, uh, this is the reason why everybody started from broker dealers and uh, to uh, authorities, why they are keeping silence. And this is the main reason why we have this situation right now. And that is why, guys, we have to push our case forward. And definitely. All this information that I found out uh, for you today is nothing more than just my thoughts and my assumptions. But definitely, I don't see any other reasons uh, of uh, this activity rather than uh, a short squeeze of MMTLP shares back in December of uh, 2022. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. 
We've agreed that I will ask the MOTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!